Nothing special, I guess. I've had a nice childhood, two sisters, private school, and so on. Hey, hee hee! Were you a talented kid even back then? Oh, this is a good, this is a good creative choice. Yeah. Ha ha! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today we once again ask the question, who is Lila? Outside of weird interstellar prawn creature that possesses our body and slowly is infecting other people, to what end, we're not 100% sure. That seems about right, right? Right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Ash is totally on board, knows exactly what's going on. I has... know everything. You do? You, you are practically Lila. Yeah. Ash is Lila. Ash is Lila. I, you might even say I kin Lila. <laughs> you can and you do Lila. Frequently. Kin? Yes. What? Oh no. Am I the one who has to? Oh no. Explain. You oh, have to explain. I am so sorry everyone. Have you heard of kinning? Kinning? Yes. Kinning? Yes. As in like we are kin? Kindred? A little spirits? bit. A little bit, yeah. We are yeah. family? Yes. We are family, to quote the classic Sister Sledge uh, funk album. Yeah, I got all my sisters in me. Yeah, and so Lila is one of your sisters? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Kinning? Yes. All right. It's, it's... It's uh, like standing, except family. A little bit. Family stand. A little bit. It's people... Stanley. It's like characters that... You relate to so much that you feel like you're connected. Kindred. With okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Kidding. Some people take it um, to an extreme where they start trying to, like, merge their personality with these characters. Oh, fusion. Yeah. Uh -huh. I I kin Lila to the extent of, like, we're cousins. Okay. Like, first cousins. First cousins, like, once removed or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, not, cousin... not too crazy, but, like... I know her. The cousin that you see like once a year at Christmas or maybe like once every other year. Exactly. When exactly. they're not doing like a weird tour internationally or something like that. Which Lila loves to do. She does. Yes. Absolutely does. Um, also, uh, real quick as we get started here, uh, you can, you can kin part. I think it was more I was confused about your accent. Like, I'm like, <laughs> is she saying the word can in an accent? Am can, I? I kin Lila. You can do what with Lila? See? <laughs> It was, it was kin. I'm like, she's, it's like, can? Can? Kin? Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can, you can kin the theorist, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can get yourself some theorist merch by, uh, picking out what is right below this video. This is super seamless, uh, super seamless transition here, but basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, we have a new merch launch, uh, specifically here for GT Live, where we're bringing back favorite designs from the past couple of years, all with kind of uh, new colors and also uh, an inclusion of the other channels. So you have this hoodie that I'm wearing today, which is from our Japanese merch launch that we did a while ago where we have uh, in kanji, uh, that's just a theory, a game theory on various parts of the body. Uh, we also have it in t-shirt form. Uh, we also brought back our, uh, I think it was our second ever t-shirt design that we did here. But basically, this is the circuit tee. It was either our second or third t-shirt ever, but it's also our most popular t-shirt that we ever did. Uh, we even have some joggers because everyone loves a good sweatpant uh, that they can wear around but also be fashionable with, with the logo on the butt. But basically, long and short of it is, when we first did all of these designs, all it was was just green for game theory, but now we're including the other colors as well because uh, we've got other channels now. Uh, film theory exists. Uh, food theory is a yellow thing that no one expected, but now that's included in here. There's also this weird blue channel that may or may not exist at some point this year, but... Yeah, what's up with that? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I've never seen that color before. Huh, blue? Yeah. Weird. I, the channel might become... Who knows? Who huh. knows what's going to happen? The world may never know, or they might later this year. We'll see how much time we have in our lives. Uh, so anyway, long story short, uh, all of these are available right now, right below the video. Uh, so if you like what we do, if you want to, you know, be one of the theorist community and show off your pride on, on your body, uh, you can do that. <laughs> you could. You could. Seamless. Man, if that didn't sell a t-shirt, I don't know what did. You too can show your theorist pride on your body. On your body. On your body. That's, maybe that'll be the next merch launch. I think it's proud should be. on my body. 
That's it. Uh, so anyway, it, it's your favorite designs. It's the core collection, all with uh, new colors. So check them out. Uh, links right below. They'll be available for like the next, I think, two weeks or so. Uh, but it'll be done by the end of the month. So uh, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you pick one up and, you know, it, it's all snuggly and warm and segueing. And this was really uncomfortable and awkward, so I'm going to hide in my hoodie. And now we're going to play the game. Did I make you uncomfortable and awkward? Man? No, no. It, I just didn't know how to wrap it up. Okay. And I so just, now I'm... No, you're fine. I wanted to make sure I was respecting your, your boundaries, oh, your comfort levels. I'm, I'm great. Okay, are, great. Are we all, are, is this a safe space right now? This is such a safe space. Outside of the camera just judging me for my, yeah, my mean, inelegant merch push? I mean, Peepachu isn't here, so he's not... Well, Peepa 2 is, though. Both of them. They, they are. Silently judging always off camera. Always. Always. Just watching. Hey, let's play Who is Lila. Let's um, play Who's Lila. So, last time we were interrogated by... The, last time we killed a couple people, as you do. Mm -hmm. We were then interrogated by the cops, and I think we got away with it? Uh, Question mark? I don't know. We got one ending in achievement or something. It said loser. That's right. We were a loser. So, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of me being a loser, Ash. No. Uh, but we met this detective who seems to know that we are this, like, interplanetary, weird, metaphysical entity known as Lila. And he said, meet us, or meet me, in a place where you save. Uh, the only thing that, the only place where saving exists in this game is in the load game, where it autosaves. And I, I noticed that there's use office here. So, in a very cool twist actually you can load up the game in this like almost hidden location it's really intriguing i'm i haven't clicked on so i don't know what we're getting into but this is a really cool way to hide more of this narrative so let's load up in his office here we go you found me good job hello again detective now lila tell me let me tell you what i've gathered so far so, as far as I'm aware, you are the one responsible for the deaths of two girls. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> yes. Now, Tanya Kennedy was the girl that looked just like you. So, why is that? I guess we may never know, Detective. Hmm. Well, if that's the game you want to play, let's do it. I'm a sucker for mysteries like yours. Is that so? See, Detective, you and I are like spirit animals of each other. The ways your story goes doesn't seem to make sense, though. There seem to be no... There seems to be no continuity. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Look at that charming smile. Oh, those chompers. Look, oh, I'm gonna bite an apple with these teeth. <laughs> Half the time, I'm not even sure whether it's today, tomorrow, or a month ago. <laughs> see? See, Detective Yu's smile looks moderately normal. This is horrific. This is... What is happening here? I, I, what the, what's happening here is they forgot to, like, get uh, photos of these p people's teeth that they're putting into the game. And then they just added in, like, a generic mouth on there. It's so horrific. You know, you know what it looks like? It looks like they took a picture of top teeth and then put it upside down. <laughs> and yeah, now it's... I mean, I, I could see that, right? Yeah. It does seem very... Now that you say that, I can't unsee it. Yeah, You're you, so right. I'm very influential. You, you have, I've been hashtag influenced by you, Ash. It's oh, true. yay. It's delightful to see your optimism, detective. Oh, well, enough chit-chat. Please, pick a card. Oh, these are Emperor Reversed, Empress Reversed, Wheel of Fortune, and Justice. So these are the endings that I've gotten so far. So uh, Justice is the one we just got. I'm curious about the wheel, because we still have a wheel here. I'm curious. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel, Detective You. Who was that? It's William. Didn't you hear us talk? I did, but... So it called you Lila, but you called it William? Well, of course. Film reels that are not needed have to go somewhere. This is where Williams went. I had to pull the same trick on him after what he did in the tower. You mean, I mean the one in the forest. The one with the pit and a small projector room where all previous film reels are lying around. So you had the reel, what's it? Okay, sorry. I'm trying to piece all this together in real time. So they're using the pronoun game really hard to hide the mystery. A lot of vague pronouns here to catch you up. This is referring to the ending 
where we discover so our character's face the creeptastic michael sarah here he is william and lila has possessed our body and is in control of it but at during the wheel of time ending we went through a bunch of boiler rooms in the school and we found I, I guess it was a projector. It was hard to make out what it was. It was some sort of machine. And through it, William was talking to us. So it seems like when Lila possesses a body uh, or takes control of a body, the entity or spirit that's inside of it, in this case William, gets left as a film reel off to the side or, or put to a like projector of some form that talks back to us. So that's what all of this is in reference to. Apparently there is another projector that we have not found yet somewhere in a forest where all the previous reels also exist. So that's interesting. Okay, so he had the reel. What's it for, really? Depends on who's steering. I tend to get rid of them. Will, on the other hand, likes to place them onto the projector again. Peculiar. Please pick a card. Okay, so this is giving us... Okay, now we've gotten a check mark because we've heard this one. So it's telling us the lore. So let's see. Empress reversed. Have you ever heard of the term devouring mother? It's a Jungerian term. That's young. Uh, it's kind of like, he's the one who talked about archetypes. Uh, so Carl yeah, Jung? Yeah, Carl Jung. Okay. Uh, yeah, archetypes. Uh, oh, it's a, why do I even bother? It describes an archetype. A mother, <laughs> incredibly protective, but in the same amount selfish. It is a mother who devours her children, stealing them from the real world. Disgusting. For many, it is. Do you have a good relationship with your mother, Lila? Are you trying to be funny, detective? And <laughs> no need to be so hostile, Lila. After all, you are the one who came here. Okay, so again, uh, this is in reference to the first ending that we got, uh, where we opened up another boiler. Weird things happen in boiler rooms in this game. We opened up another boiler, and the giant prawn empress is hiding inside, and is like, Wah! I'm here now! And we're like, what the heck is this? Um, that was strange. Uh, so I'm assuming <laughs> the empress potentially is... Lila's mother, in reference to kind of the card, or they're starting to seed us out lore, but it seems like the Empress, that prawn monster in the boiler, was some sort of mother in some way. Uh, let's just wrap these up. <laughs> I think this will help when I have more endings. Who's the prince? No one. When, whenever you say who, you're just pointing your finger at those stupid projector reels. The prince is not a who. If you want to see the projector light, you have to look beyond the film. Oh, this is, this is getting deep. This is getting. This is like the sort of stuff you learn in like film school, right here. <laughs> right? Did you did you learn this, Ash? Um, I mean, I didn't really do film school. I know, but did you learn it in any of your training? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you did. Yeah. Nice. Matt went to film school. I know Matt went to film school. He taught me. So he, he he's passed it on to you. Mm -hmm. That you don't look at the projector, you look past the projector. Yes, that little man is a beacon of knowledge. Oh man, we have so many beacons. I know. So many projectors. So, so many reels. <laughs> There's a lot of light in this institution. Just, just blinding. Yes. Across the board, blinding light. Exactly. Why do you yourself need a reel then? It's an anchor through which you humans can understand me. Lawrence's worms tried to make an instrument out of it. They made a reel artificially. Too bad it had my face on it. I couldn't help myself. I always come when someone calls. But I was here before all reels, just like my father was. Great. So deep. Justice! So this is the last ending we got. This is where we got interrogated. So the place where we first met. A place where we first met. You might not know it, but I've been watching you intently, Lila. From the point William woke up in his apartment, that's creepy. That's, that's creepy, Detective You. I don't know how I feel about that piece of information. <laughs> right until the end. So, did it help you? Not yet. I'm still not quite sure. If I'm being frank, I have almost no damn idea about what happened before or after this day. I appreciate your bluntness, Detective. Does it feel right that William is most likely going to be prosecuted? I'm not sure. You see, at that point, I didn't know William that well. To be quite honest with you, I feel a bit cheated. I'm not sure if the way it ended was the victory of good or a ter terrible mistake. Too bad, detective. <laughs> not unlike me, you don't seem to be easily satiable. Maybe we could talk over some more cards? Sure. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. We can go over them again if you'd like, but we don't have to. All right, let's, let's not then. Let's, let's, let's get out. Back. Exit.
Is he going to exit the game? No, okay, cool. Okay, so that's a little bit about the endings. Uh, Detective U is a smart cookie. That's cool. It's difficult for me to express my emotions. I envy other people. I have a hard time moving. Okay, so at this point, we're going to grab the garbage. We know that there's a dead body in our garbage. I know what the code is. After all, it's my diary. Empty glass. Okay. Wait, do I have the hacksaw? I'm just curious. There it is. It's for farm work. The saw, obviously. Not creepy at all. So let's head on out. Let's go to a different location this time. Um, so we've done the school a couple routes. We've done the police station. We got busted last time. Let's just see what else we can capture here. If we can get another card or two. Put out the garbage. Now I'm ready to go. You have a new task. Grab a bus to school. Except this time. Let's go. Where do we want to go today? So now that we have a sense of Detective U, and he knows a lot about us, let's visit... Do we know Martha's code at this point? I'm curious if we go straight to Martha. You don't think you'll be able to get in. You don't have Martha's keys anyways. Okay. Okay. There's a party. Let's go to the party. We haven't been to the party yet. I'll tell you what, this place looks like a party right here. Field on the outskirts of what I can only imagine is like a nuclear reactor. Oh yeah, and with that like flip note studio Oh yeah, like shading. it's great. Yeah, beautiful. I feel like I'm on an old Game Boy. <laughs> November twentieth. My name is William Clark, and I was invited to a party by Matt Hurley. It's my first party in the new class. It smells nice out here. Does it? Does it now? It smells nice out here in the. Where? Are... What is this place supposed to be exactly? Let's talk to this group of revelers. A couple enjoying an evening smoke. Well, at least one of them's enjoying it. So, you happy you got out finally? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for pulling me out, I guess. It's scary to think how it would feel to be home right now. Hey man, you wanted something? Uh, no. Submit neutral. Your face remained neutral. Jay seems slightly irritated. I better go. Alright, well. Glad I made a friend there. <laughs> really bonded. Best case scenario. That's Matt Hurley, the host of the party. Hey, dude. William, right? Hey, Matt. Uh, sorry I'm late. Hey, don't worry, man. The night's just starting. Come on in. Want some beer? Uh, sorry, I'll pass. Thanks for inviting me, though. No prob. You're a newbie, but you seem cool. Not at all possessed by an alien inside your skin. Matt and the guys are so awesome. <laughs> I wish I wasn't that shy and could actually tell him that. Oh, you don't have... I guess he's trying to cheer me up, but also remain cool. Okay. You don't have to be shy, William Lila. You don't have to worry about it. You're cool too. You just dev devour people. Also, you're cooler than this guy do doing his little jig in the middle of the room. It's amazing. I love it. I love his dance. That's me at the party. This is my dance right here. <laughs> this is him. This is my spirit animal. This is this is true. There not was even one time in the office you were just like dancing to a song and that's what you were doing. That's it. Not even not even moving your feet. Who needs to move your feet? You yep. know, it's right there. Exactly. Here, let's let's talk to some friends, shall we? Let's make let's make some acquaintances. Let's make some memories with the dancing guy. I love this song. I do too, man. It's a bop. I wrote it, you know. <laughs> you like it, right? Playing my music. Great. His SoundCloud is blasting on the speakers. Right He's like, now. I'm getting all the streams tonight. <laughs> all the streams. I'm going to be trending front page. Everyone's going to be downloading. He's handing out cards. Like, here's my download link. Great. Oh, no. <laughs> he knows how to party. He does. They're having fun, I think. They are. They are. They're having fun. Yeah. Clearly. Let's check out, check out the table, shall we? Can I turn off his music? Be like, no, stop it. Laboos. I don't feel like getting drunk today. Oh no, I... Oh, I changed the music. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> the song changed. 
Well, guess what? I wrote this one too! <laughs> Epic anime twist! He is putting on his entire mixtape <laughs> at this party. <laughs> this is Chance, man. His name's Ilya? Yeah, Ilya. Ilya? Ilya's, Ilya's living his life, man. He knows that this is his opportunity. He is. He's, he's in a room full of de hashtag influential people. Just influencers. He's like, man, everyone's gonna be digging this bot. They're gonna be using it as a little snippet on TikTok. Oh yeah, it's gonna he's be making a... connections. He's getting everyone's pronouns. Oh, every... <laughs> everyone's, it's true. The song changed. Finally, <laughs> party goers excited, finally. Oh my God, <laughs> thanks man. Oh man, see, I'm making friends too. Oh yeah. So apparently Ilya's first bop was not a big hit. Stranger. Great, that was a very meaningful conversation. Oh, absolutely. We looked deeply into each other's eyes. You can hear creaking and some muffled noises coming from this bedroom. You have a strong feeling that its occupants do not crave company right now. I don't know what that could be referring to. Jumping on the bed. Oh, is this a, is this a dead body? Classic dead body. I can talk to it though, so maybe not. A girl lying on the bed. She has to be really drunk. What is that? Hey, hey, you all right? She's drunk, my facial expression probably does not matter. Your face remained neutral. Hey, it's Martha! Martha Jennings. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, just had a bit too much to drink. Do you need anything? Water? No, I, I'll just lie down a little. Should I leave you alone? No, wait. What's your name? I'm Will. I think we met at school, remember? Oh, <laughs> you are. You're the new guy, right? Too bad you have to see me this way. I, uh, I usually don't drink, you know. Figures. I must look pretty pathetic to you right now. Hey, come on now. Everybody's like that sometimes. Any reason you drank so much tonight? It's, uh, that guy, you know, the one who's... She tells you a very confusing yet relatable story. I like that we just gloss over that part of the ah, very confusing but relatable story. So true, Bestie. In conclusion, the guy she's talking about sucks. Huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh Should I be concerned like sad? Maybe sad, maybe disgusted. Oh, do, what, what's disgusted again? Pull up the top lip. You made a sad face. This looks friendly! Oh. This is the this is the face of friendly. That is friendship at its <laughs> finest. <laughs> mm. You wanna be my friend, Ash? Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's be friends, everyone. Ah, oh, I'm so friendly right now. <laughs> it's amazing. You wish to support this girl at least a little bit before you kill her in her apartment later. You hope that your face gets the message across. I feel like the game's got to be self-aware about this, right? Oh, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> uh, it's very nice of you to listen. This will all be so embarrassing tomorrow. Oh, well, don't worry about it. You sure you don't need anything? I Could you help me to the bathroom? I think I need to... She makes sounds that usually precede vomiting. You took the poor girl to the bathroom. You probably need to tell Matt she's there. All right, let's, let's go tell Matt that she's there. Also... We got some new party goers here in the middle. Ooh. Right, the girl, Ilya. The girl wearing that uh, long dress. Right, she came. She came dressed for the occasion, man. Oh, Tanya, we haven't killed her yet. Hi there. You feel dizzy. Smile, smile, smile seems appropriate. <laughs> yeah. No, nope. so. Sm smile, smile with wide eyes. Hey, you smiled. This looked awkward. What? I don't think we've met before, right? You're... Hey, have you seen Martha? Hold on, Ellie. He probably doesn't know who that is. You're the new guy, right? Again, I feel like I should be smiling through this. Yes, I am the new guy. Sm smile. Smile and the world smiles with you. You smiled. Another great face right there. Is it not? Is anyway, it sarcastic? I'll go look for Martha. I'm Ellie, by the way. I'm Will. She left. And there she goes. All right. My name's Tanya. Tanya Kennedy. She jokingly stretches her hand forward, and you give her a handshake. Is Martha the blonde girl? She's kind of plump. 
Wow. You're the new kid, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but I did meet Martha. She's the plump one, right? We are... That is a descriptor. <laughs> plump? You know, the one who'd be described as muy robusto. You know, he big bone, hefty, real large. Man. Look, wait, I... Way to, way to befriend everyone in the school, Will. I'm all about you know, body positivity, yeah. but going up to someone and being like, oh, you know, the plump one? Yeah, right. <laughs> what is that word? Right. He, to be fair, William may or may not be possessed by an alien named Lila right now. So maybe Lila doesn't understand that, like, hey, we don't go around calling people plump. You know, the juicy one, right? Oh, the no. one. No. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> Lila might be describing it as, like, the, the human I want to consume because I'm a space prawn. But, you know, to everyone else, like, oh, the, the thick one. Yeah, she's thick. Martha's thick. This is, this is Martha thick. Oh, this is going in all the wrong places. William, I don't think Martha, you're befriending anyone. you're beautiful. Right? I, what, no matter Your what you are. Your body is beautiful. Yeah, body, uh, bodies are beautiful bods. Yes. All bods are beautiful bods. We're, we're lifting up pronouns, right. bodies. Right? This is, this is the most inclusive episode we've <laughs> right? ever done. Right? This is great. Lift it all. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like that Tanya agrees, though. The plump one. Oh, yeah, that's her. Get it together, Tanya. Tanya, get on. Get with it. What, have you seen her? She didn't feel too well, so I helped her to the bathroom. It's probably Danny's fault. A-hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he plump too? Sure. I think I'll go help her. Want to come with? Sure. She left. And I also am leaving to help. I guess. Now. Slowly. Very slowly up the steps. Let's all help in the bathroom. Oh, man. Look at the... Sh Look at all these young hip teens all together in the room. The art style. The art style freaks me out. <laughs> there you go. Better? Yeah. Thanks, guys. And what we talked about earlier? Look, Danny's my friend. But I'm not gonna lie. He can be kind of an a-hole sometimes. Don't even think about blaming yourself, alright? It's not because there's something wrong with you. Danny's just been through a pretty effed up relationship himself. That doesn't excuse him, does it, though? Hmph. <laughs> Just telling you why he did it, alright? I think I already said that he acted like an a-hole. Oh, hey, Will. Guys, that's my new friend. Man, we've bonded real fast, Tanya and I. Nothing like calling your mutual friend Plump to really bring people together. Like, if you take one thing away from this live stream today, that's, that's how you get friends. You objectify them and use, you know, very strong language when describing their physicality. Uh, hey guys, here, I'm gonna smile awkwardly. Smile and the world smiles with you. Smile. There it is. You smiled. This sounded natural. <laughs> this sounded natural. What's up, man? We haven't met before, have we? Yeah, I haven't been to school much since it was the start of the year. Oh, got you. Well, nice to meet you, Will. Thanks for taking care of Martha just now. Yeah, thanks, Will. I'll take care of Martha in a different timeline, stab and a half. Really needed that. They seem to have been talking about something else before you came. There is an awkward silence. Well, if everything's fine with Martha, I'll go get some air. Hey, what? We just came here. Come on. I'll see you later. Tanya? Are you ignoring me? Come on, we barely hang out anymore. It's... Graves. Nope, everyone's awkward. Super awk! I don't get what's wrong with her. Mike? What? What are you looking at me like that for? I feel like it's time for you to leave. Great, thanks everyone. Good, good talk. She's looking at a painting on the wall. There's a sun-drenched cafe with huge, seemingly glassless windows. Hey, Tanya, what about... Oh. Sorry, am I interrupting something? Michael, please. What? What's up with you today? I don't think I've done anything to deserve that, have I? Let me see how it is. So you'd rather hang out with some weird dude you just met, huh? Instead of at least talking to your boyfriend? I'm just worried about you, alright? Ugh, he leaves. Don't be mad at him. He actually cares about me, you know? That's the worst part. I'm not mad, I get it. Tanya seems very tired. That's a nice picture there, isn't it? It's Hopper, right? The cafe? Something? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it has a certain feeling to it. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Nailed it! William the art critic. 
What, what, do, what do you think of this painting? Uh, I think it, it has a feeling to it. <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's a mood. There's a lot of emotion. Yeah, there's... A lot of emotion. Oh, look, there, there's colors here. The artist was really using all of his technique. Yeah. <laughs> all his technique just there, displayed right there. There's definitely some technique, um, especially uh, here. Yeah, right. In this yeah. range right here. Yeah. This part is really speaking to me right now for some reason. The colors. Yeah, look the at... The textures. The, the textures. Look at that line. My, yeah! Wow. All of it coming together to, bo to form this picture. Yeah, and, and, and then so we take all of it in. We, yeah, if, when you look closely, you really get a sense of the detail. But when you <laughs> step back, you, you really get like, the, whole, the picture. whole picture. And you can really take in what the artist was trying to convey. Yeah, you could do both of those things. So all, all of them it are valid. Come, wow. And, and really, I think it's open to interpretation. <laughs> oh, all interpretations I, are valid. I love that you can be subjective about this image <laughs> it really it's 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 open yeah it's great it can be whatever you make it to be right yeah this is genius brilliant <laughs> it's very symbolic <laughs> it's great good job william william's gonna pass his art class oh he with, with observations is. like that william is gonna get an a he's in art class gonna do so great <laughs> like oh oh he's incredible loneliness but cozy <laughs> it's That's... hard but soft that is Every piece of art ever, every piece of art ever has those two components. Loneliness, but coziness. coziness. Yep. Yeah. It's warm, but cold. It's hard, but soft. The duality. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a picture of duality right here. Almost like you've been there before, says William. Yes, yes, that's what I was getting too. See, Tiny gets it. Oh my God. Oh, he, he likes artwork. <laughs> Listen, um, well... I literally just had one exchange with you and you called my friend Plump. But I'm going to go downstairs and get myself a drink now. Then how about we go for a walk? Oh. I really need to cool down. It's been heated. There's been... We had like a mild conversation in the other room. We vaguely interpreted a piece of artwork. <laughs> this is great. This is, this is... This is a quality high school party. It is. Right here. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Look at us taking that walk. Oh yeah, going through the wheat. <laughs> With the fact the farm factory in the background. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go. Look, look at how naturally I'm walking. Oh yeah. It, oh yep. I arms, also love that she walks around with like Princess Peach arms. <laughs> huh, I think I drank a bit more than usual there. Finally some fresh air. This party was getting a bit intense, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I you don't know. You could say that it, there was loneliness and it was cozy at the same time. I, I, you know, I, I, it was intense, but at the same time, I was distracted by Ilya's sick flow and beats from uh, the mixtape. Yeah, what's Ilya's handle? I have to know. <laughs> I have to download his Spotify. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I never expect you to be here. Oh, yeah, why not? Because I look like a tight-ass straight-A student. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are wearing a full, like, country dress. Well, there's a lot about me that people don't see. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> she said hee hee. Hee hee. Maybe she went, maybe she went Michael Jackson hee hee. Maybe it was a hee hee. <laughs> That's what it is. From now on, all hee hee, written out hee hees in games are going to be hee hee. That's it. Every single one. Excellent. What about you? You don't seem to be very talkative when you come to school. And you don't come often. Yeah, I'm working with my, like, Russian uh, hitman friend in the boiler rooms of the city. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in education! Huh? Really? No, I mean, I just have to tackle a lot of stuff on my own. Like, you know, I live alone, so... I gotta do stuff like working, doing chores, all that. I Analyzing out... paintings. <laughs> Analyzing paintings. I take out a bag of garbage to the dumpster <laughs> that is literally right outside my door every morning. It's one single bag. Yeah, it's, it's a hard life. It is. Sound, it does. It, it, uh, ta Tanya agrees. Sounds tough. Where are your parents? Dad ran away when I was little. Mom died three years ago. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, man. We're, tell we're analyzing artwork. Oh, we're man. telling her a sob story. He's got daddy issues. Oh man, oh. we're we're a slam dunk for this relationship. This is, this episode is loaded. I'm wounded. 
You're, oh, you're wounded. She, she's, she wants to fix me. <laughs> I can fix him. Yeah, she can fix me. She can she can mend what's broken because I'm lonely but cozy. It's, you're it's, warm but cold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> lonely but it's warm in my arms uh no use getting all emotional about it now because i'm an alien who has no emotions i had a pretty nice childhood just me and her you know i think i'm finally getting something good in my life but yeah it gets tough sometimes it's good but tough sorry i started talking about all this it's okay what about you you mean my upbringing well nothing special i guess i've had a nice childhood two sisters private school and so on hey <laughs> Were you a talented kid even back then? Oh, this is a good, this is a good creative choice. Yeah, ha ha! No, ha ha doesn't work, it's got to be hee hee. It's funny, my parents used to call me a prodigy. It kind of sucked though. How's that? It's hard to explain, everyone around seems to expect great things from you. Like, all the time. Surface pressure. I watched Encanto. I understand this. Pressure like a drip, drip, drip. <laughs> that will never stop. Yeah, it's- oh, Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, until you just go pop. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Has Hercules ever said, no, I don't want to fight Cerberus? Straight. Maybe under the surface. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> if I can take. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, we have all watched Encanto. Encanto brain rot. Uh, and, and when you fail, it's like the end of the world because it's as if you betrayed their faith in you. I know it sounds dumb, but it feels terrible, honestly. I feel that. I've been there. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I still kind of feel like a failure. Why? You, you're literally one of the best students at school. I don't know. It's like, even when I do something right, win an award or something, I just get anxious that the next thing will fail. And this never seems to end. Phew! <laughs> That's the, I know she closed her eyes, but it's terrifying. That's Sorry. the face of relief. It is. Sorry for all that. I'm kind of bummed that we're about to kill her. That's that's kind of sad. <laughs> Honestly, I'd kill for a sig right now. Is this is this a, a coy smile? I think so. There it is. Ho ho. Ho ho. A smoker, huh? There it is. That's my coy smile. That's great. You smiled. Uh-huh. Makes dealing with stress easier. Well, I was quitting anyway. Mike hates smokers. Sad. Uh, disgusted? Maybe nope, just no. sad. Yeah. <laughs> Her expression suddenly turns bitter. Don't think I'm not noticing what you're trying to do. Mike's an awesome guy and I love him, alright? You have no right to stick your nose into other people's lives. I wasn't asking for this! I was... <laughs> Get out of here! I... <laughs> Oh, things have taken a big turn. You gave us this information about Mike. Right, this was this was unasked for. Here, we're gonna rewind. We're gonna we're gonna reload. Load. Apparently this is the trash yard. You don't wanna see where this goes? Not really. I here. You don't know anything, alright? And you know how about you fix your own stuff first? Like your st stupid face expressions. <laughs> And how you act like a complete dunce when there's people around. Oh, <laughs> sad. I'm sorry. Oh. No. I'm sorry. I'm a monster, aren't I, Will? Oh, no. I, she's just digging her own... Like, I'm here trying to react, but she's just digging her own grave. Oh. Come on. Tell me you think I'm a disgusting human being. I don't think you're disgusting. I just don't understand you. Makes sense. I can't understand myself either sometimes. I... It's hard. Yeah, well, your friends are there to help you. Well, they don't really know me. Even Martha doesn't. What about Mike? She laughs. Are you joking, Will? Jeez, of course not. I think I'd like to know you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Wide eyes! Oh, surprise, that's not, I don't want to, that's too, that's too, it's the wink! It's wink. the wink! Wink, wink, wink! wink. <laughs> what a skis ball. She laughs again. Trust me, you don't. You really don't. I don't deserve all that anyway. You're just wasting your time trying to be my friend, Will. I really don't deserve all that. My friends are too sweet. 
I thought Graves was perfect for someone like me. It's a shame he turned out to be such a wonderful guy. Can I say something? I hope you won't be offended, but really, the world is not revolving around you, Tanya. The way you beat yourself up is not going to help anybody. I... Your friends may not be able to understand what you feel. I know I don't understand, but we're all ready to be by your side no matter what's happening behind the mask you seem to wear. Her voice cracked. I... We're back, Will. She sits on a bench. Something feels different about her now that you've talked. It's a nice feeling. Should we continue talking? Yeah, let's let's sure, continue let's, let's, a little chat. Let's keep this little dating sim. Damn, I wish I had that sig now. Maybe it's for the better? Yeah, at least I won't feel guilty. You know, because of Mike. Ugh. Don't look at me like that. I know it's stupid, all right? You both stay silent for a moment. There's slow dance music playing inside. Wanna dance? Ooh. Let's see that dance. Oh, look at this. Look at those moves. Look at those polygons. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Super Mario 64 characters dancing. <laughs> wow. Slow jams. You're totally right. This is like music to study to. Exactly. Quirk gets scooped too. Oh. Oh, he went in for the kiss. Got rejected. Oh, nope, going in for the kiss. Oh. Was that an owl? Was there an owl flashing there for a minute? I thought I saw a hootie hoo. So <laughs> hootie hoo! I don't like that guy. I don't know who he is. I don't like him though. <laughs> like it's the little, it's like the little demon. <laughs> I'm still concerned about the owl face that I saw, honestly. Oh, what? Where am I? Who are you? It's the stranger. No, I... It couldn't have been her. I've... I've never even... The uh, moon! Uh, the moon. Hey, you. Pick a card. Hey, the, explain that one to me, you. Explain to me, explain to me what we just saw. So, that's how they met. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is... So, that felt like this was before? William and Lila? Or before we... I don't know. Okay, here. It's nice to see William making friends. They aren't his friends. You saw the way they looked at him and the way they... Are we getting jealous? What? I don't possess such feelings for anyone. I... Hee <laughs> hee! All right. <laughs> Even using on it. Uh, by the way, what was that figure in the corner? Are you talking about the stranger? Yes, he looked a bit like William, didn't he? It's just... It's not his usual look. We seem to have exhausted the cards. Okay. That was not super helpful. So we have a weird stranger. Right. And we have a, a guy in the background watching everyone dance. And we've bonded with Tanya before we slaughter her and throw her into a dumpster. Yes. So really, across the board, just wins. Wins, wins across the board. So now that we've completed that, let, let's just see what's available to us. Because all the other ones have kind of opened up something to us. And this time, we didn't really... I'm, I'm curious if it opened up another option for us. Because um, all the other things have said, like, now you can go here, now you can go here. So let's just get down to... And we haven't figured out what to do with this wheel yet. I'm very curious about the wheel. How to plant. Okay, let's get outside. It also seems like, in, in some small part, we're going backwards in time. I'm ready to go. You have a new task. Okay. Where are we headed to today? Let's see what options are available. There's the party. Martha train station. School. Um... Question mark, question mark, question mark, is the burned remains of a building that we were in. Today's November 16th. 
My name is William and I've come to investigate a recent fire. So we did all this last time. No surprise, not sad. No, no. Oh yes, which apartment is it then? Oh wait, I've made a list of tenants right here. What's your name? Will Hayward. What, you want me to sneak in and see a friend? Sorry, I'm not having a kid. Shoot, that didn't work. I'm scared. There's been a slaughter on the road. What, are you for real? Yeah, a truck and a bunch of construction workers just crashed. There's blood everywhere. Spare not be a trick. <laughs> well, great. I'm glad she fell for that. There's been a slaughter on the road. Got her. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, so we go in here. I used to call this place my second home. What happened? Now it smells like dust and ashes. So we checked this one out before. We don't know what the number is for this. Is there anything else that we can check out? This was the room where we found a couple different things. Let's see. Okay, so we've got... This is where we kind of... Okay, ba 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 Yep. No, shoot. Great. Unreadable. Okay, here we go. This is the computer where we went to our meditation. So let's see if there's anything else before we go to computer land. Oh, here's computer land. Wait, why is computer land here? What else we've got? Is there anything else? There is not. Okay. Here, we're going to go to computer land. Or meditation land. This was weird because we got possessed by a demon from this area. So we're going to see. But we also interacted with the first person that we saw and it took us away. But it seemed like it was a larger chunk of the world. So I'm curious what that's going to lead to. Woo! And now we start tripping out. So strange game. Okay, so now we're here in like Neon Village. Mmm, this is interesting. So this is, I don't know if this is a direct replica of it or if we're meant to go back to this place, but as we were walking in the party, we actually saw when we were walking with Lila, we walked past this. Last time we talked to this figure down there, I don't think that's a good idea. That's the one who like possessed us. So let's see what's down this way. Wait, is, you said Lila? Oh, sorry, Tanya. Okay. I meant Tanya. Sorry. Thank you. Too many feminine names with a... Uh. <laughs> right. Oh, maybe that's the only person I can talk to here? Oh, shoot. No! Oh, man. It looks familiar. Maybe made of wax. So life like it is. Does it talk? Does it look so familiar? His face is a mirror. You cannot help but gaze at it. <laughs> Oh, interesting though. So now that we're back here, this does look different. That was the stranger. Hate it. Still hate it. But that was the stranger that we met at the party. Yeah. His face. So that's pretty intriguing. So now we have a greater context around what that was. There were no words spoken. All happened in an instant. How amusing. A vessel for my kin has come on its own. What does the vessel want? With the first movement of your mind, the creature seems to have understood the whole of your desires. It is known. We'll help you understand nothing is required in return. We don't need your compliance. You may, not, you may now seek help from my servitor, the demon. You must acquire him separately. He was uploaded as an addition to this reality. I shall give you a link to his location. Here's the link. <laughs> link is in your clipboard if you want to hear from Lawrence. Call him on the phone. The daemon will know the number once you let him see the phone rotor. Okay, so we really do need to download that new thing in order for us to use the rotary phone. And that's also Lawrence, which was mentioned in by uh, Detective Yu. Yes. Interesting. Okay. We're befriending people. We're rewinding back to earlier moments in their relationship, which is interesting. The non-linearity of the story is really interesting. 
And I think what you do now is now that we have pieces and parts of their stories, we can go back to other chunks and use them to go different routes through them. Um, I'm still, I still don't know what to make of all of it, though. Outside of alien possesses people and, and kills them off one by one. But the why of it is unclear. Uh, so anyway, there you have it, friends. Uh, who is Lila? What is Lila? How is Lila? Don't know, but we do know how Tanya's doing. She's suffering from surface pressure and ultimately dead. So, you know, step by step, we're piecing together in a mystery. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you want to continue. It's, it's an interesting game. It is it's slow uh, and it's weird, uh, but I'm enjoying piecing it together. I know that this is part three that we've done. So if you want to see us continue, uh, let me know. Uh, and hopefully we can come up with kind of a streamlined way of attacking it. Because I think we're at a point where I need to start really... Up to this point, the game's been pretty easy to follow, but I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I have to start figuring out what leads to what leads to what. Otherwise, we're going to keep recycling stuff. We'll have to download the daemon and all that stuff. So anyway, let me know. Do you like the series? Should we continue? Are you curious where this is going? Uh, or is this one that I should just finish off in my own time? I'm, I'm on the fence. Um, so I ultimately leave it up to you guys. Uh, in the meantime, though, just a reminder, the, the merch is available right below this video, so check it out, the core collection, if you like it, some greatest hits, all remastered, and uh, that's about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, we'll see you in the next upload, and as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!